Hi everyone, thanks so much for coming back to my channel. This is Tina with Tina's Craft Creations. I'm on today with a project share of everything that I've made for M. M is over on Instagram at sporadic underscore crafty underscore chick. I will link her information down below. Um, I can't off the top of my head remember if she has a YouTube channel. If she does, I'll link that also. Um, so we've just kind of befriended each other over the last few months or so. Um, we chat on Instagram. We send each other cat videos. You know, I've made quite a few friends on Instagram based off of our love, uh, my love of cats, <laughs> which is really funny. Um, but sh we send each other videos all the time. So I asked her if she wanted to do a swap and she said yes. So we agreed on a crafter's choice and um, I decided to use the Rosie Studio new collection, um, one of a kind, which I hauled recently. Um, I'll be perfectly honest with you, this is the first time that I've had a full collection from Rosie Studio and I struggled with this collection. Um, the paper quality, I got the 12 by 12 like kit. Um, when I ordered it, I just ordered like the, the whole kit that came with the 12 by 12 papers, not the smaller pad. And the paper is not super, super great quality in my opinion. Obviously this is again just my opinion. It's kind of thin and one of the projects when I folded the paper it like kind of tore, not tore, but like the the pattern like kind of cracked. Um, so M, if you're watching this, I'm a, I'm sorry for that. Um, where it is on the project, I couldn't really fix it. So I hope that you, you know, understand. Um, also with Rosie Studio Collections, um, I like this, like I said, I ordered like the whole kit. It just came like in one package for like one price. And um, their ephemera packs are like insane. <laughs> you get like 200 pieces of just about like every single one or like well over 100 pieces of them um, if not more and um, it was honestly like overwhelming for me <laughs> so because I had like I was trying to go through like each like the sentiment pack and then the ephemera pack I mean the um, floral pack and then the icon pack and I was like overwhelmed um, so I don't know if I would buy a full collection from Rosie Studio again in the future, or I would maybe get like a six by six paper pad and like maybe one pack of ephemera and, and the stickers. Um, but the, all of the ephemera it, it, and everything, it was just super overwhelming for me. Like I, it was like anxiety inducing. Um, I, I mean, I like what I made for her, but I was really struggling just like I was overwhelmed. Um, okay, so we decided again on a Crafter's Choice, and I f the first thing I made for, for her was a, um, a little 3D project using a Scrap Diva Designs um, die that I uh, hauled recently, and um, I'm going to show you that in one second. I just want to take out what I have inside of it, and it is the little purse die. Um, I like how it turned out, and I did follow, um, like Patty over at Mommy and Me had shown how to uh, kind of put this together, and I'm glad that I watched it because I would have been a little confused. And she, she struggled just like I did with rounding the edges and getting them like completely lined up, but I did the best I could, and I hope that you like it, M. So I did use a pink base, um, and then this paper um, with the, the really pretty like floor, um, butterflies. And then I did embellish it just a little here with this piece here. It's like little fans and then some enamel dots and this little um, cup with the florals in it and the little tiny puffy sticker bird and some gold thread. And then uh, it has the handle. It all has the, the stitch detail, so I did not stitch on this. Um, I did use gold foiled paper for the little like bracket kind of things on the, on the sides of the purse. And then I used gold um, brads with like a little like clear jemmy in the middle. Uh, and I did add my sticker in the back. Um, so I used some um, little tiny pink um, uh, pink um, Velcro dots to hold it closed. And I am going to be putting just little embellishments in here for her. So that's what I had in it. And that's how I'm going to send them off to her. So this is the little purse from the Scrap Diva Designs um, purse die. So that is the first thing I made for her. Um, the second thing I made for her is a uh, tag flip. Um, I used a uh, pink binder ring and then I did a kind of a collection of ribbon just to kind of have different textures. This ribbon that's almost like a gauzy type of material that I got from Michaels a while ago. This I had hauled off of I think Shein or AliExpress and then some of my seam binding from my scrap cabin. 
All right, so I did just use, I just cut paper um, from the, the paper, pa the paper that I had, and I just did like, I think it was like three and a half by like five and a half or something like that. I'm not sure exactly the me measurements. I just randomly like picked it out on my scoreboard or on my cutter and then just made them all the same size. Because the paper is not super thick, I did double it uh, back it on some pink paper. And the, this is a pretty simple um, tag flip, but I do like how it turned out. Um, I used a little bit of elements from the uh, icons, the um, floral packs, and the icon um, sentiment packs. So I stitched all around with a pink thread. Um, this is a beautiful floral from the floral pack. This sentiment is uh, one of the sentiments from the sentiment pack. I used some gold thread, and I used some of those super tiny little flowers that I got from Lori over at Creating for Fun. So love those flowers. Okay, this one I used some florals again from the floral pack. I did put the leaves flat and then I just puffed the flowers up onto foam. And then I just did more gold tape and another sentiment from the sentiment pack. This one I used some of the butterflies from the butterfly pack. And they do have clear wings that puff up with the color and then the polka dotted gold uh, foiling on them. This I just did like a little sentiment from this sentiment pack and the little butterflies. And I think that's so cute. This one I did some more florals from the floral pack, some hearts from the puffy hearts pack, and then this little book stack I thought was so pretty. Um, um, so it just says life is an incredible journey. And I left that flat because I thought it looked kind of cool like a stack of books. All right, this one here I did, um, this is, uh, this free spirit is from one of the sentiment, um, sentiment uh, puffy stickers, some enamel dots, and then I used this little tab, um, ephemera piece from the, of a side icon ephemera pack and then a beautiful floral from the floral pack all right this one i did all more of those little butterflies and then this lovely is from the um sen sentiment ephemera pack these butterflies are just so pretty and then uh, the this one here, I just did this cute little fox. She looks like she's gardening, so there were some little puffy um, stickers that look like they're like little flower pots. So I puffed the, I put one down and then I puffed one up to make it look like it's standing kind of in front of this one. And I, I have her, some enamel dots, this cute little sentiment here, may your dreams take you to the most special places your heart will ever know. And then some more gold thread. And then the last one is this little scene I created um, with the tree from the icon or the ephemera pack, the icon um, ephemera. This little bench with a leaning, <laughs> I, for some reason it's like leaning, a um, little light post. And then I put like a puffy little bird on the bench and a little pink squirrel. And then some um, a little sentiment um, chipboard sticker from the chipboard pack and some more enamel dots. So that is the tag flip that I have created for her. And um, I made a little tiny embellishment box. Um, I did, I have had these little uh, floral shaped um, boxes in my stash for quite some time. I hauled them from a smaller shop. I don't remember which one. It's been a while. Um, and I just used some stickers that I got from Hobby Lobby, these little paper flower stickers. I just did like a big cluster of flowers. And then inside I just have some various little embellishments. I have some pom-poms, some of these little flat back hearts. I mean, I know technically these are like love hearts, conversation hearts that you can use at Valentine's Day, but I mean, you can use hearts all year long. And two of them, I have wire wrapped beads that either I did or some that were gifted to me. In the middle, I have these little um, flat back flowers. I have these little um, bumblebee um, wood veneer or wood embellishment stickers that I think I got at Dollar Tree. And yeah, I just thought that was a cute little embellishment box to send to her. Because initially, um, the next thing I'm going to show you is an, it was going to be an embellishment box, but it didn't work out. And I'm not sure what I did wrong when I was following the tutorial, but this is a little book. Um, it's supposed to hold an embellishment box inside. I followed the tutorial from Tony over at Craft Purge, and I'm not sure what I did wrong because I did follow the measurements exactly, but whenever I went to put my embellishment box inside, it's like the thin one from the Dollar Tree. It doesn't fit, like, at all. So I'm not sure what I did, but um, I did make this little book, and I'll show you what I put inside, but I stitched it with blue thread all around. You can barely see the blue thread because this is a blue paper, um, and this is where that paper cracked, and I was pretty upset about it when I folded it. 
Um, but I went ahead and made it anyway because I still think it's a pretty like little book. But I um, embellished the front with a um, ephemeris sentiment piece that I stitched. It's a wonky stitch. I don't stitch circles very well. I stitched this um, happy, happy, happy piece. And then I also added some more of those florals and some little puffy florals. I used some blue... Um, blue um, seam binding. This has kind of like a blue theme to it. Alright, so inside here, I have, um, this is, I'm just going to show you the box. So I did blue paper as well, and I stitched all of the panels on the inside as well. Um, the flats, um, not the flat ones, but they're like, I'll, show, I'll, I'll grab one and show you guys, but I was pretty upset that it didn't actually fit. It's one of these, the real thin ones. I followed Tony's tutorial exactly, and it's like a very big difference. So I'm not sure um, if she had found boxes that were smaller or they used to be smaller somehow, um, but I'm gonna have to like learn how to make one of these little boxes so that this will actually fit inside, but I digress. It's still fine. It'll hold some embellishments that I made for her. So I made some little um, large paper clip embellishments. So I'll show you the two that I made that are like the larger size. Um, so I have this one here and I did use gold um, paper clips and I stitched um, around the edges. I just created this cute little cluster. And then I also have this one here. Now these little hearts are from a Rosie Studio like puffy sticker pack that didn't come with this collection, but I just thought they were pretty. So, and I, that's where I used the other um, book stack uh, uh, embellish or ephemera piece. So these will be put into a um, little cellophane bag and put into this little book. And then I also made some super tiny little. Um, this is just a sticker from the sticker sheet from uh, one of the sticker sheets from the sticker pack. And then I just decorated this glassine bag with a little piece of ephemera. But I made a bunch of these super tiny little um, embellishments, these little paperclip embellishments, and I did stitch all of them, so um, that was fun. <laughs> so here's one. And I did use enamel dots from other collections as well, not just this one. And I used pu puffy sentiment stickers from Rosie Studio sentiment sticker packs that I have in my stash. So I think these are so cute. They're so tiny. I made three on a pink paper clip and three on white paper clips. So I made all of those to go into a little glassine bag and I'll put that in there in this little book as well. Um, I also decorated some glassine bags to send to her. Um, this is the first one, and I didn't do too much decorating because I figured she would still need some room to put things inside, but I figured this would be a fun way to share some decorated glassine bags, and there was just so much ephemera, so, um, yeah. I have this one. I have this one. And this one. So those I'll be sending off to her as well. And then the last thing I made were some little envelopes. You guys know um, I'm, I'm like obsessed with making little mini envelope uh, embellishments right now. This is the first one. Used some puffy hearts from the heart uh, pack, some sentiments, some gold thread, some ephemera pieces, puffy stickers. We have this one chipboard and then ephemera pieces. I like the little worm. He's cute. And he's saying, hey. Super, super cute. Like, the collection is beautiful. I just was overwhelmed with it because there was just, like, too many choices, to be honest. Um, through with the ephemera packs and all that. Like, it was just too much. So those are the little embellishments that I made for her. And then the last thing I'm going to send her are some, um, I'm going to share a ton of the ephemera. I have the florals in this one. Again, I just decorated this um, very simply. And I put a tiny little paper clip on there so she can reuse this little um, um, 
classy bag. And then this one, I just added a little piece here. And this has some icons and some sentiments. So she'll be getting some of those as well. So that is my um, project share of everything I made for M over at Sporadic Crafty Chick. Again, her information will be linked down below. If anyone has any questions, please let me know. If you've not already, I'd greatly appreciate if you would consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.